Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you wind up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, I know you guys are like, what is on your head? Uh, I actually had it to match my shirt. Yeah, feel me. I never wear hats, but the other day I was at Mercedes and I really liked this one. And on top of that, it was on sale. You can't beat it when it's on sale, baby. So I thought it was a sign to kind of get a hat. Make sure to comment down below if it's ugly, if it's good. I love on this critical feature. Feedback. But aside from that, make sure you guys check out Pancho Toxicas over on Instagram. We are doing a flower bouquet Mother's Day giveaway. I partnered up with my BFF Jasmine's Flowers. <laughs> in California and for the ones that are in California and you're already typing que me vas a comer hijo de tu revera please remember that on this channel when we hit 200,000 subscribers we're doing $2,000 to one person this one's a worldwide giveaway we're only like 5,000 subscribers today away if literally 5,000 people subscribe today I would do the giveaway tomorrow <laughs> yeah me because I'm not all talk you guys do it I do it too do my part of the deal but aside from that bunch of stocks you guys for the flowers in California let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to como me Canta el chisme. ¿En serio está embarazada? ¿Quién, quién, quién? ¿Cuál es la esquina? La que está en Venezuela. Ah, no, ya estoy allá. Y de paso se lo metió a Francisco y este no es de Francisco, este es de Alberto. I'm like a Jolly Rancher today, y'all yeah, feel me all green. But aside from that, the first thing that we're actually going to be getting into, did you guys see with Miss Melody Aguilar? Now, her ex-boyfriend, it appears, was shading her, and I said, wait, 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 wait. Now, to me, this is a little bit disrespectful. People should be mature about your relationships. Whatever happened behind the doors is kind of like, you know, why are you kissing and telling if you... I don't think you should be on an Instagram live and telling Shadi Bay and everybody else there that you were giving them... Uh, it kind of just shows how immature you are as a person, but this happened. My bro, they're so dumb, bro. Like they're over here saying that. Like the the only bro. Jose. Yeah. The only time I would be hitting it was when I was hitting it from the back. <laughs> how come how come she doesn't say that, huh? So, bro, I was only hitting it from the back, not even like a month and a half ago. What? <laughs> That's tea, bro. I thought you were not gonna say that about your ex, what? bro. What the hell? <gasps> no, it had to be said, bro. Yo, you exposed her. Yo, she, she a liar, bro. Oh, that's tea. And I don't know why they were laughing. Yeah, feel me? I don't think this was something that was funny. Like I said, I know we talk about Melody here, but for once, I'm kind of like on Melody's side here. This is a little bit weird uh, coming from Ar Noir. At this point, it kind of seems like Ar Noir is clout chasing. Yeah, feel me? He kind of died off, but because of Shadi Bay, he got resurrected once again. What I'm assuming is he's flirting with Shadi, and then Shadi, you know, something's happening behind the screen doors. I saw his name was saved with a heart under Shadi's contact name. So what I'm thinking is that he's saying something to the ear. Because now Shoddy Bay is not even friends with Wilito. My that he was going to pay me uh, when he gets paid from that YouTube video, but he never did. Exactly. And he was posting on TikTok, like, oh, it hit 20K, whatever. I literally wasted my money to go fly to wherever you were at, got a hotel, Uber you and your brother and his girlfriend and his friend to my hotel, bought all of y'all food, Ubered y'all all the way back. And you still have the audacity to say I didn't pay you? Really? Made a TikTok with all your brothers, with your girlfriend and your friend? Because if I could have been rude and said, no, I only, I'm only going to film a shoddy. No, I filmed with all of y'all. And you really have the audacity to say, but it's okay. It's okay. That's just really messed up, bro. I didn't think you looked at it about the money way, but all right. So because of this our noir gentleman, he's doing a cycle that's ruining everybody's friendships. Because this to me was a little bit strange. She wants to charge uh, Wilito, but she wasn't charging beauty creations. Uh, where's the equality on everybody? If you're going to charge one person, you have to charge everybody. And I don't think you should be charging for collabs. My thing is this, right? If you do a collab with another influencer, you guys should be collabing together, exchanging content, yada, yada, yada. At least for the YouTube world. I don't know about how the TikTok you know, world works. But for YouTubers, when you collab, it's not like, me vas a pagar. But make sure to comment down below. Below, do you guys think our noir is the issue here? He just kind of wants club because he saw that the music. What happened to the music career? It is 
<laughs> he had to find somewhere else and he's getting them galaxies like Fleaboy. But the next thing that we're actually gonna be talking about, did you guys see with Miss Malu La Traviesa's mother? And if you guys are wondering, not again, doctor, she's on the loose. Well, doctor, she is on the loose because she's shading her daughter once again. Now, I'm gonna play the clips and for the ones that don't speak Spanish, I always forget for some reason in the back of my head and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't even wanna give you guys some boo-boo. I always forget that like 30 or 40 percent of you guys don't speak Spanish and this isn't to disrespect you any way shape or form I just always have the mentality that this is like a Hispanic channel and everybody speaks Spanish until I see like a 300 like comment saying I don't even understand what's going on so wait until the video's over Papi Rosetta Stone got you and in this video I actually did like little pauses to kind of summarize it so you guys don't get too confused and this happened My <laughs> Yo le tengo miedo y no me acerco a él, ¿ok? Y ahí están los videos y las pruebas. Que cuando se supone que pasó eso, él no estaba conmigo. Y después tenían mejor relación ellos dos que ella y yo. Pero si los videos están, cuando ella dice que mi marido la tocó, mi marido no estaba conmigo. Cuando ella dice que mi marido la tocó, mi marido no estaba conmigo y, y después vivió tres años feliz y contenta al lado de él, se daba mejor con él que conmigo. Hello. Hello to Rosetta Stone and basically she said that Malu La Traviesa was BFS with him. Why would she be BFS with him? He's a freak of the week. Yo siempre, 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 yo siempre, siempre, toda la vida voy a querer más en mi hija Siempre, en toda mi vida, voy a creer más en mi vida, en mi hija, que en la palabra de ningún hombre, ¿ok? Pero es que cuando Malu dice que eso pasó, yo no era pareja de él. Él tenía mujer y yo tenía pareja. Y después, y después, vivimos juntos dos años, en los que fuimos los más felices. Coño, ya no me jodan más. A ver qué coño están poniendo por aquí. She said she's always gonna believe Malu and her and the stepdad weren't together at the time. Rosetta Stone, there you go. Porque me separé de él porque las relaciones se rompen. Ay, no sé, pregúntenle a ella. Porque los videos están ahí. Búsquenlos en Instagram, todos los videos están ahí. Que yo soy doble cara, si está bien. Si te dijera yo voy a la otra doble cara mía. She said, I'm double faced. You haven't even seen my double face. Ha! Which. Ay, por favor, yo nunca le he cogido dinero a Malu. Mira que los oye ustedes dicen que yo tengo millones de dólares o no sé cuántos dólares pues dan una cuenta. Malu sabe, está hablado por mi hija y por mí y está escrito. Y ella lo sabe, que yo le he dicho a mi hija que yo malgasté dinero. Pero cogerle dinero, no. Y mi hija me ha dicho que ella me entiende y que me perdona. ¿Dónde está Malu? No sé. ¿Dónde estoy yo? En mi casa. So what it happened was... Basically, the argument that the mother's having Malu's mom is if he was a, being a freak of the week and if he was doing all these things that Malu La Traviesa is accusing him of, what is the whole reasoning as to why Malu was being best friends after she just accused him of all this? Why was it that when Malu accused him of all this, they were best friends and they were even had a better relationship is what the mom is arguing, right? My thing is this, right? If a pervert, if a Rigoberto Nerberto Perverto gets caught up a perverto's mindset is that perverto probably got caught right and you guys had to talk about it and then in his mindset now he's gonna be buying her gifts he's gonna be being on his best behavior so for you to say that after all that happened that they were even bffs even more and had a better relationship well you don't know if he was buying even more gifts for her or he was treating her even better you can't have like that old school mentality but then again people are saying that malo la traviesa is lying i'm not too quite sure who's telling the truth here they are going to the court of law for this to figure out the truth do you guys think that the mom is telling the truth that malo's lying or do you guys think that Malu telling the truth and she went through this experience with this freak of the week? Comment down below. And for the world news, something that was really crazy, uh, this guy that was doing Uber Eats went to go deliver at this guy's house. I guess what I'm understanding is ate the guy. I don't know what's going on with this guy's mindset. Obviously, you know, this guy's extremely insane in the head. <laughs> That's really tragic. I hope justice does happen. And my prayers do go out to the family members. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to smack a like button because if you guys are already subscribed and you're like, I want to hit you for the giveaway, but I'm already subscribed. Smack a like button, recommend it to other people so that we can get new cheese mosos and cheese mosas. Follow my social medias and I really do appreciate you guys. <laughs> Nada más lo dejan a uno todo deseado y con ganas de comer. Con ganas de comer tamalitos, no sean así, por favor. ¿Cuánto, cuánto